Hey guys, it is August 3rd. <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's time to say goodbye to things. This was my prop room, as you can see. You probably hear the echoing. Um, I am leaving lots of furniture. <laughs> uh, we weren't able to take it with us to Vancouver, but uh, a cousin of my wife's is taking it all, so to fill up this space. Uh, but this is goodbye. This is goodbye to my prop room. This is goodbye to the house. Um, not goodbye to the channel, not goodbye to family, not goodbye to anything else really, except for the house. This, this shell of a thing that I had props on where you saw things um, happen. It's a big deal for me, actually. I never thought I'd be as emotional as I was going to be. It's about five in the morning um, with a long drive out on a six day journey. So you'd be a travel with us, but uh, it's a little emotional. Uh, it's my first house, so uh, yeah. Um, as silly as it may sound, but but that's it. It's gonna go a little dark here. As we're turning off lights, but yeah, that is that is it for my house. We had a lot of friends and family help pack us up and go through everything with us. Um, I mean, it's a lot of work. And thankfully, um, we had a box and a bag left over. That's it. Thankfully. Um, but yeah, so it's time to get started. We're gonna take our big road trip and you know, do some sights. See Canada. See East, well, from here to the West Coast. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for your journey with us so far. Um, we are going to uh, get this started. Turn off another light. Woo! And uh, yeah, so stay with us. Let's get this going. Like I said, it's sad. Saying goodbye to a lot of comfort. <laughs> but uh, it's time to get going. Plus, uh, the Zoom Cal giveaway that I did, I'll actually be able to hand deliver it. So that's going to be kind of cool. And I'll vlog that with this as well. But, uh, but yeah. Let's get going. All right, so the first thing I got to do here is stop off on my way. <laughs> and I got to give my winner this. It's a rare opportunity because we didn't have to worry about going anywhere. But here's Robert who won the Zoom Cowl. There you're on YouTube land now. Awesome. And uh, so thanks very much, Robert. There you go. Thank it's now you. yours. And uh, we're continuing our journey. <laughs> All right, so we got our first stop over finally, and it's at the Hungry Bear uh, restaurant. We got lots of bear paraphernalia. Um, great restaurant. My uh, my wife had <laughs> my wife had stopped here many times when she was a little girl. So we're about a quarter of our way through Ontario. Yeah, long, long, long way to go still. But uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to it. And uh, yes, I always showed the bears. Yes, there's bears on either side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now it's time to get some a couple snacks, a couple desserts, and. Uh, Continue on the journey. We're gonna try and get as far as we can tonight for our first leg. Going to Vancouver. Going to Vancouver. All right, so one of the things you have to do when you come to Sudbury is to see the big nickel. And it just started thunderstorming out. And uh, we decided to do it anyway, because it's huge. I don't know if you can see it here. I'm gonna try and show you. It's right there. It's massive, it's massive. I'm gonna show a picture here in a second and you can see our selfie in the soaking wet rain, but we are soaking wet. Um, my wife up there is soaking wet. Hey, my purple hair is <laughs> So we had, we had to do this though. If there's one thing you had to do when you're in the suburbs, it's that. So now we've done that and we're gonna continue our northwestern trek and get dry and then find somewhere to stop to, it's for supper. Um, probably not for a couple hours though. And then, uh, yeah, probably about Sault Ste. Marie. For those of you that are tracking, um, yeah, and then we can dry off and figure out what we're doing for the night. <sighs> All right, big nickel, soaking wet, excellent. Oh, and by the way, it's also at the top of a giant hill, so that that that's great. <laughs> it just adds to it. Just adds to the atmosphere. So day one is now over. It's been a long, long drive. Probably, it's well, I think we calculated it approximately about. A thousand kilometers, a thousand kilometers of driving. Uh, I just drove a number of hours. 
uh, right from uh, Sault Ste. Marie, so which I've never been. So I've never been to this area. We're now in Wawa, Ontario, which is for the most part just a small stopover. It's about a town of 3,000 people. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get a little bit of rest and then we're gonna head off to Thunder Bay. And Thunder Bay, we'll probably get a room and sleep in a bed. <laughs> but for now, we're just gonna have a little nap in the car. But, uh, but yeah, it's been pretty fun. <sighs> like I said, a thousand kilometers, a thousand kilometers. That is a long time. But anyway, this is day one and this video will probably be combined with the uh, second day just in Wild Pulled probably there. And uh, we'll go from that for sure. But uh, yeah, almost there. Well, sorry, almost out of Ontario. That's a big, big trek. Like I said, over a thousand kilometers is about a quarter of the way to Vancouver. And we're not even out of Ontario yet. So those of you, you know, of, of my viewers here who aren't uh, Canadian may not realize how huge Ontario is. But anyway, uh, have a guys, well, you guys have a good night. I'm going to have a good night. And uh, we'll continue this video on tomorrow. So we took a slight little detour. We're at uh, Bill's old amethyst mine. My little girl loves stones, and we thought we'd just come and do this because you can buy it. But what's more fun? You can actually go pick it from their big pile. They actually mine it uh, down that way. I don't know if you can see the mine right there. Um, and then they leave it out here, and we have to go pick through. And I already see some here. This is pretty cool. And uh, what do you think? Look at that. Let's get right out there. Don't just pick what you first see. I mean, we can, well, we can, and then we can empty out. <laughs> this is probably not flip flop, uh, you know, exploring, but uh... so this is actually really, really cool. They're they're back there getting some stuff here, and I just kind of started taking a walk. But it's really neat because some of these have amethyst like growing right out of them because of the, because of the blast in the mine. So like this one right here. But some of them have the veins running right through them. And my daughter's big into Minecraft, so seeing that is kind of cool. But so like this one here, you see the veins running all the way through. And you can see the amethyst on that big guy there. And some of these just have like coatings of amethyst. It's kind of neat. This is kind of cool. And they just they blast them and then toss the piles over here for you to pick through. I mean, they probably pick through themselves too and get the best pieces with the most of an amethyst on it, but you never know what you can find. It's pretty neat. Did you find lots of amethysts? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to show you. All right, let's go look. Pretty exciting. Let's look around. So, I found a billion amethysts right here. Amazing! I found a cat. <laughs> so, I love amethyst and this is my bucket full. And there's so many amethysts and this is an amethyst mine. And it's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> Nice big one right there. There's so many amethysts. Woo! That's a cool chunk. Right by your toes. Alright, so now we're on route to another stop over here before we head into Thunder Bay, but we got all our amethyst and uh, the gentleman there even threw in some, um, what was it called? Australian, Australian coal. coal. It's for her to answer that, that's fine. It's pretty cool. And what kind, of, you want to talk about the amethyst you got? Some pretty cool ones. Pretty cool. Definitely recommend doing that for anyone. You can go buy your amethyst or you can take a hammer to it. <laughs> it's 
it's pretty fun. So now, yeah, now we're still driving through. We have another about half an hour before we actually hit Thunder Bay, but we're gonna stop over and uh, look at the Terry Fox Monument, which we'll see here, to, which you'll see in a second. Uh, and then we're gonna head right in, get a hotel and spend the night and not have to worry about uh, sleeping in a car like we did last night. Um, but yeah, so far so good, chunking away. After we're done Thunder Bay, it's pretty much a good nine, eight to nine hours to get out of Ontario, and then we're on our way to Vancouver. So that should be pretty fun. So hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. I know we we have been, and uh, yeah. So here we are, just like I said, we at the Terry Fox Monument. Uh, for my American viewers who are not sure who he is, um, I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video for you to look it up. He was an amazing man who had um, osteosarcoma and was gonna run the entire length of Canada and he passed away actually the year I was born. Um, but yeah, uh, my daughter had a, had a friend that was about the same age and the same kind of cancer. And yeah, so it was a big moment for her. And of course, the view here is absolutely phenomenal. Frog! <laughs> You're a goof. Anyway, so now we're gonna spend some time here and then we're gonna head off to Thunder Bay. But yeah, if you wanna know more about Terry Fox, you'd like to put that link in the description there. Every year, kids in the schools all do a Terry Fox run. You see on her shirt. And uh, to raise money for for it as well. All right, so we finally got a hotel room, which is nice. This is the Victoria Inn here in Thunder Bay. Pretty nice. It's really, really nice, as you can see. It's you know, I got a couch which is pulled out, the bed which we got some stuff we're gonna pack on. We're gonna eat a little bit something here because it's only one o'clock, but it feels a lot later. But the coolest thing about this entire room isn't the room amenities; it's these doors. And behind these doors is where my daughter gets to sleep. And it's under the sea themed. So these sliding doors after they close, which is closing for the night. And she is under the sea theme. How cool is that? Plus she gets, even gets a Wii access. That's pretty cool. And uh, then we also get like this little deck here, which goes up to the pool with a huge water slide. But yeah, I'm kind of jealous actually. Like she has these like sliding doors and everything. Very Star Trek. But yeah, so today's activities are gonna be very simple, very quiet, very oh, relaxing because we need we need a day for relaxing. And then we're, tomorrow we're gonna head out to Winnipeg. And each day we're pretty much gonna be hitting a province after that. This is the longest trek of the entire journey is to get to this part. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for very much for watching. Um, we'll probably cut it off here. Well, no, I'm gonna try a couple things actually. So food wise, and then we'll cut it off. But um, and then we'll, we'll we'll start the next one. I do have Wi-Fi here, so that's why this video is even up at this point. But uh, thanks, guys, so much. Um, if you've been following along, to my friends, to my family, everyone, thank you very much for all your time, helping us to get to this part of the journey, even to just be able to sit, and veg, and relax. So uh, yeah, let's finish off the day and get some sleep in a bed. So one of the things we were told that we had to try here in Thunder Bay was a Persian. I mean, obviously, I didn't think it was a cat, but here it is right here. Sort of donut-y thing. Strawberry looking icing. Hmm. Looks like a cinnamon bun. Pretty cool. So if you're in the area, you gotta try one of these out. Apparently these are the original, and you gotta do that. But the Persian, the Persian man? Mm -hmm. Persian man pastries. Well, it's well, more than it. just a coffee shop. It's it's more than just a coffee shop. It, it's, it says it on the, on the box. <laughs> <laughs>